guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Cardi B. Even though her new single with Lil Durk and Kanye is not doing as well as her other singles, um, she is still being accused of using payola uh, because... Super Cindy, who is a radio host, basically um, promoted Hot Shit, um, Cardi B's new song. And while she was promoting it, she revealed that um, Atlantic set up a meeting for Cardi B to meet with 200 DJs across the world to thank them for playing Hot Shit on the radio. Mmm, interesting. Now, let me know in the comments, is this payola or not? Because a lot of fans feel like that is payola and Cardi B is trying to bribe the, um, you know, DJs into playing her music by her having meetings with them and thanking them. And I'm sure that Cardi B is not the first artist to do that. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't make her look any better. Okay. Um, you can't say your career is organic and you got it from the ground up when you're doing things like this. And I remember when Bodak Yellow went number one, the Breakfast Club received a plaque for it. That was weird. And then on top of that, um, Cardi B was also exposed for not being able to sell out her little concert she did at a casino, I believe, in Pennsylvania, where it's only, you know, can hold like three thousand or four thousand people and allegedly she only sold like 38 tickets and that is one of the reasons why um you know fans could not use their cell phone in the concert okay you know how like everybody had their cell phone out at essence fest and we were able to see you know Nicki minaj's performance no thanks to hulu um there was a rule no cell phones in this location for the concert because allegedly she did not want people videotaping the empty seats. I wonder if she's going to have that rule for wireless fast. Now, I spoke to a few people um, from Barty Gang and they told me that the reason why they didn't buy tickets for that event is because it was such short notice, okay? So that's what Barty Gang had told me. The reason why they didn't buy um, tickets to um, that event. And then they told me that they didn't want to go to Wireless Fest because of C-19. So that's why her tickets are not selling out. It's because her fans are cautious and, you know, she gave them such short notice. So that's what I'm here to tell y'all. Moving on to the City Thoughts. OK, um, so basically there is a video circulating. Um, you can see it on Mob Radio of the city girls performing in front of an empty crowd mm -mm -mm. at Essence Fest. OK, now my whole thing is the city girl has been in the game since what, 2016, 2017. I really don't feel like there's an excuse for them. I know people will try to find an excuse. It's so funny how people always try to find an excuse when an artist don't sell or when um, they can't sell out a concert. OK, even though a lot of these artists think that they're bigger than life, I don't feel like there's no excuse because Taylor Swift is doing 500 K first week on an old album, a re-release. Nicki Minaj is doing 80 K for a mixtape that is old, a 12 year old mixtape still debuting at number two. OK, 14 years in a game. So I just feel like there's really no excuse for these artists. But um, I know you guys will find one for the City Thoughts. Nicki Minaj leads in pure sales. OK, which means, you know, her fans are actually buying the record. Nicki Minaj is the only female rapper to do 100K in three days in sales. OK, in pure sales. That's digital sales. Um, with Cardi B's new release, she was unable to do that, which is not really shocking because, you know, she thrives more in the streaming part of things. Um, but congratulations to Nicki Minaj because we're in basically July. We're halfway through the year and none of these female rappers could top her sales. Okay. No shade, no shade. 
But y'all want to call Nicki Minaj wash. So I have to bring up the stats to remind y'all. Okay. And it's really no shade. I'm just bringing up the stats. Okay. And I think that when Nicki Minaj drops her next single, I think she will be able to do the numbers because she has the fan base. Okay. And that's why Billboard is really mad. Okay. They got to fudge the numbers at Billboard allegedly because they are scared that Nicki Minaj could easily go number one. Okay. She was so close to going number one. Um, she missed it by a point, which I think was taken away from her by Billboard because they don't really fuck with her like that. Um, I highly doubt that she didn't have the numbers to go number one. Um, but you know, Billboard, they're haters. And I think that eventually she will get her solo number one. Moving on to Rihanna. She is making history. Okay. Um, so basically Rihanna is the youngest self-made billionaire. Okay. Um, I believe she's like 34, 35. Her net worth is $1.4 billion, okay? Now, that's not what she has in the bank. A net worth is what you have in assets and businesses. So once, you know, she pays off her workers and everything and possibly taxes, um, because, you know, these celebrities don't like to pay taxes, then, you know, she gets whatever is left, okay? But her net worth is worth $1.4 billion. So congratulations to Rihanna. Um, hopefully she gets a prenup once she marries ASAP the colorist um, because, you know, he going to be coming after that money. No shade. Moving on to Drizzy Drake and Kendall Jenner. They were spotted taking pictures together. Um, they were at Michael Rubin's. Fourth of July party, camel face, you know, Drake was there, you know, Meek Mill, of course he was there. I mean, what else does he got to do? Um, you know, there was a lot of celebrities there and Kendall and her ex were there too. Um, her ex is Devin Booker. Um, but she was posted up with Drake taking pictures. Um, she was posted up with little baby. So it looks like she might be trying to find her next victim. Um, I feel bad for any man that gets wrapped up in the Kardashians. It just seems like life starts to fall apart. No shade when you get mixed up with them. Okay. But Drake and Kendo might be a cute couple. Do you think she would give Drake a shot? Okay. You know, Drake, he likes them young. I believe Kendo is what, like 25, 26. Drake is nearing 40 and you know, being 40 is a blessing, but you know, he likes them young. I think that Drake is going through a midlife crisis um, and he thinks that he's younger than he actually is. Um, but with that being said, I feel like Kendall and Drake could possibly get together because we all know that the Kardashians, they love the clout. And then, you know, Drake, he likes them young. OK, even though body wise, Kendall might not be his type. You know, he do like them thick, but he did date Rihanna. She wasn't thick. He smashed Janae Eichel, allegedly. She wasn't thick. And even though it's because they were famous, Drake is somewhat a clout chaser, too. He don't need the Kardashians, but he always liked to be seen out with them, taking pictures, posting them. So, I mean, he enjoys the clout a little bit, too. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day.